14-year-old Elizabeth McCoy would have been entering her 20s if her young life wasn't cut short by a fire at the Princess Royal Youth Hostel. For the past six years, the McCoy family has had to deal with her death, and while it wasn't easy, her brother said they have come to terms with it. But the scar is still there, and David McCoy said that when he saw that the hostel was being rebranded, it reopened the wound and led him to make a vicious comment against the hostel's authorities. But after some rational thought, he now hopes that the rebranding is a success and will ensure that an incident like the one that killed his sister never reoccurs. So to see a rebranding, it is a good initiative to see to show that our um, government is moving in the right direction to to um, deal with these types of situation and to ensure that something like that never happened again. But it doesn't take away the fact that it's you know it's very um, hurtful to see because. I can tell you that when I heard the news, I was not in Belize. I was um, abroad and I saw on Facebook the blaze and immediately my mind went that my sister was there because my mother told me, right? And so it it was rough. So it, you know, when you lose lose a loved one and you have to rehash it, it always burns like the first time, you know? So that's the reason why it it takes... um, the personnel who are working there to appreciate what happened. And because not, not no amount of building or rebranding that um, is done will change the mindset or the culture of how these children are there to it. So it, it is a you know systematic thing whereby the persons who are there have to be trained. And I don't know if they are trained or what the situation is with them, but if they, are able to deal with these children on a more, in my opinion, humane basis, then it will be a success. And and it's a good initiative for the um, ministry to take that upon themselves to to give it a rebranding. And McCoy said that there needs to be constant training to deal with children from different backgrounds and circumstances. That's not a, a institution that any parent, and I could imagine the other two parents, including my mom, would want to find their um, um, children in, you know, because it, it's a helpless position that you're in. So the state is to take care of children who are unruly in a sense and cannot cannot be, you know, dealt with by their parents, but not to take their life. And I'm not saying that the state directly or deliberately take their life, which was a breakdown in the procedure as what the former CEO of um, Ministry of Human Devel- Development said. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it happened. There's not just a rebranding. There's a constant, in my opinion, again, constant need for training of the staff to, to let them um, be more sensitized to the different life, lifestyle or behavior that will be there so that they don't just get frustrated, you know, and, and lock them up. Because to me, I think that was just a frustration thing. It's, yeah, it's unfortunate that um, it never took, it never happened a while ago to prevent what the incident that happened. But at the end of the day, um, it is what it is. It, ha- uh, it has already happened. And the best way to move forward is to make changes, which the ministry is uh, doing. And even though McCoy said his family has accepted Elizabeth's untimely death, they still want to see the report on the investigation, which they still have not been privy to. He plans to eventually approach the ministry about it. That's, that's something that I have. On, on the top of my to-do list for this year, but um, I am waiting that for the, you know, uh, the proper approach. Perhaps maybe the minister would get in touch with the family after, you know, hearing this interview and provide them with some sort of clarity. And of course, I am inclined to, to, um, to seek it out, right? But I want to do so in a time when it's not going to be met with any resistance or any, you know. And while it won't bring back his sister, he's also hoping that the death of Elizabeth and the other two girls will serve as a catalyst for change regarding some of the social issues plaguing this country. These girls, I think they should be remembered as, um, to me, some sort of pioneer for change for that facility, you know, and we must look at the, the inherent problem that permeates our society as opposed to, you know, just sweeping it aside, oh, this person is being uncontrollable or so and all of that, because 
the problem won't go away. So, and, and we cannot stop our society from um, growing single, with, with growing single parents and having these type of, you know, situation where children have to be placed at the youth hostel. So my point is we just need to be a, have a better effort with the ministry and also the parents to dialogue with each other to, to ensure that these children, even if they have to go there, they are out and come back as productive citizens to our society. There will always be some level of resentment, some level of hostility, even though it's not permeated or directed to a particular individual. It will, it will always have to be that because you lost a loved one. But at the end of the day, um, we have to do things the right way. And perhaps, as I said, the report would bring further closure to my family and to me. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.